Oh, hello! I'd like to welcome welcome back to Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance, where we are fighting spooky, scary skeleton glass. Apparently, this is a good place to level up according to the map. I don't know. You now, let's look them up. Let's look up skeleton glass. Skeleton glass. That is an actual place that sells skeleton. Oh, that is actually those are actually pretty cool glasses. Those skeleton hands holding up glasses is pretty cool. They are level 34, and they give 334 experience. And they drop rubies. And a lot of money. I still have the greed item really equipped, so I don't know where the hell that money is at. I'm not leaving until I get my money. Well, let's, let, let's check. We have th uh, 534. So you don't get more experience if they are higher level, you just get... That is kind of stupid. So you don't get more experience if they're higher level than you, like they do in, in Symphony of the Night. You just get less if you are higher than them. You know, Symphony of the Night system rewarded you for fighting higher level enemies, and punished you for fighting lower level, and it's a little bit better than just punishing you for fighting lower level ones, and not giving you that advantage. Aw, you can use them until level 45. Oh, they're actually worth a lot of experience points, and they, and they, they are easy to kill. Aw, oh, man. Never is fun to have family emergencies. Okay, this one actually bleeds skeletons, which is kind of weird. I think she does that infinitely. Oh, damn it, I forgot to switch back to the map. So it's still showing me the skeleton glass. Oh, look at all this money I'm making. I'm earning the big buku bucks, as they are also referred to. You know what? I'm gonna say it again. Skeleton. Damn it, map. Well, excuse me for that. I'm sorry. But I wanted to record nice and early today. And we've already seen the. Uh... Oh yeah, we've already seen the greatest shield. No, oh, the wind book's the one that we got. Sure, whatever. So meet uh, Legion Corps, as he's often called. I guess Corpse is a more fitting title. As you can see, it is uh, pretty much a hit him a lot fest, because if you stop attacking, the thing closes and you have to hit it a bunch before it opens up again. Here's the thing, Legion will curse you if you step into him and don't have the right artifact to resist curse, which means that under the right circumstances, you can get stuck because you can't move very fast and you can't slide when you're cursed. So you're stuck and you're like, no, okay, so someone kept insisting about this. Show off the steel tip. This is what the steel tip does. It makes your tip a little bit bigger. Wow, that's super special. Although one thing, and this is something that I do think is important to note. The tip doesn't have the blue outline. Which means they literally glued the sprite on top of it. Meaning it's it's a loose sprite that got anchored over it. I guess that makes sense because, you know, it's a little bit expensive to do. 
Uh, it's, it's expensive to do from like a you, you gotta make new sprites system and there's a lot of sprites for that but although there aren't a lot of sprites because this attack sprite is the same in midair so what the fuck man that would have been minimal space but whatever uh, we also picked up a charm this is a reference to I think a Castlevania 3 character because Castlevania 3 actually got a whole cast of characters to play as Uh, the steel tip does have an upgrade called the uh, platinum tip, which is even more powerful, I think. I think it's platinum tip. It's a mimic. He basically mimics your motions. Now I get a stupid puzzle with a mimic. And we get a hint card. Hint card five! We'll see what it is in a moment. Thanks. A rare ring. Oh man, a stroke. A brigandine. Of course. It's what it always does. Rare Ring is a bit of a staple. In fact, it's such a staple that Castlevania uh, Aria of Sorrow, and I think also Dawn of Sorrow, featured a ring that increased soul drop rates as well. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a painful thing to do, because I think this is one of the more difficult blocks, box puzzles. Okay, so what we need to do... Is we need to get a box here. We need to get a box here. We need to push a box across. So the first thing we want to do is we want to drop this box down. The next thing we want to do is we want to drop this box down over here. That is wrong. Give me a moment. I got it, I got it. I'm being stupid. I got my head in a twist. I want to do, do this. Leave enough space so you can go through that. this, and that's why this is here, so you can push this over here. We need this. Uh, there's a reason you have to go over here, and it's this. It's strangely enough not what that guy gave you. Oh, look! It's a progress blocker. Lucky for me, I have the tools for the job. So, I think that's what it does. The Greed Amulet just bumps everything up to the next uh, money level, maybe? Ugh. That requires level 50, by the way. We can't go up here because we don't have the Griffin Boots, or whatever it's called in this game. So yeah, we have to go all the way back. We only have 
have to do this block puzzle if you just have the right skill humans. You see, the best way to actually do that block puzzle is to make it so that you'll have to push the box so that you can push another box out of the way. Which you can't cheese with the Griffin Wing, but whatever, I guess they didn't want the Griffin Wing to be inconvenienced. Because they're probably just uncollectible ones. I like how there's all these bones in the background. You know, in the background. With all these skeletons. Ah. Oh. Hmm. So yeah, no technical process, we just picked up one key. Money, 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 I'm making money, boo. Just cut this out, actually, but you know, things would never be the same again. Oh, yeah, someone said, Hey, the gloves might be good. The gloves aren't fucking good. The drop from these guys here, they're leather gloves. Well, those look like boxing gloves, but I guess they're not terrible, but they're worse than my guardian gloves and the heart leather gloves. One thing I've noticed, that's that there uh, isn't a lot of equipment you pick up in this game. They, it, normally you find lots of equipment, but I guess the equipment has been pseudo-replaced with furniture items. Oh, so much acid lately. I don't know what it is. Just a lot of acid acting up, and it's like, ugh. Why do I have that st Look at those giant engorged testicles. That's what you get with Tanukis. You have a lot of furniture, man. I think next time we're actually gonna fight two bosses. For a very simple reason. Uh, we have to beat a boss to get to, to get a key, and we have to beat a boss to get to a certain place. I like how witches are pixies when they are recolored. Don't ask me why they didn't recolor that, out of all things. Oh, I like his hair. Should have been animated, that hair. Anyways, to save point. We're gonna call it quits! See you guys next time! We're gonna fight death! And, uh, what's this called again? Stalus. And we're gonna get a whole bunch of items. It's gonna be sweet.